Recently, news broke that Donald Finn has been cast as Matt Cawthon, replacing Barney Harris, who will play the role in Season 1 of the series. Reasons for the recasting are unclear. That's not good enough. You know what? I, uh, I did a thing. I've enlisted the help of some of the greatest detectives from the Twitter of Time, aka uh, Wheel of Time fans on Twitter, and also the subreddit uh, Wetlander Humor. I've asked everybody, please tell me what really happened. We'll hopefully get to the bottom of this mystery. Yeah. Are these statements true uh, that we're about to hear? May no, probably not, but uh, we're, we're going to check them out. I'm probably about to butcher uh, everybody's name, so just be prepared for that. First up, we're going to go through Twitter. We have Matt C. tossing the dice. Very untrue reason. Barney was so bloody good at being Matt that he impersonated Matt Offset as well and decided to walk away from those bloody studios because he is no bloody Matt. <laughs> so he's too good. He was so good that uh, he decided to walk away. Maybe. maybe that, that could definitely be one of them. Next one's from Iron Rain of Books. I think the old actor decided to go in the hair making industry and work to have Raven's a ricking hairstyle. This is one of his works. Beautiful Raven. <laughs> so he's, uh, he had nice hair and uh, he, he's gonna make other hair great for other people. That's, you know, that's honorable. That's, if that's the reason, then, you know, good for him. Next up, we have Brandon Bennett. Barney Harris was never actually cast. He just showed up one day disheveled and dressed for the part, and the showrunners didn't have the heart to shoo him away until after they finished the first season. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what a terrible, terrible mix-up this is. Raul reads, the role was recasted after Barney Harris quit because the cast and crew kept stealing his low-fat yogurt, even though it clearly had his name written on top. Wow, that's uh... <sighs> that's rough, yeah, no. Um... They kept eating his yogurt, and so he had to quit. That that makes a lot of sense to me. That's first of all, it's it's wrong. If you eat somebody's yogurt and that doesn't belong to you, and you eat it, uh, you might make somebody quit a TV show, and upset a lot of fans. So maybe don't do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make the rules. Next up, Josh Neller. Barney Harris quit because he was too pretty to be a bloody lord, says the executive producer and cast manager. Barney Harris agreed with this statement. He's too pretty. To be a bloody, <laughs> he's too pretty to be a bloody lord. That that's fair. That's that could be it. I think I think we're on to something. Child Eben, Rafe called him Bernie one too many times. Yeah, I mean that'll do it. If that's that's not your name and just keeps calling you Bernie, eventually you know quit quit the show. That's that's what you got to do. All right, next one is Bryce. Someone and I'm not pointing fingers got a little into the braid tugging for the role. In Zoe's defense, she had to build up resistance. Braids were tugged, pulled, and Matt's luck couldn't prevent the static electricity buildup ending in Barney's ejection off the show. So this, this was just static shock. It was an accident. Uh, they were practicing the braid tug. Very important. You got to tug those braids. And, uh, you know, sparks happened. Next up from Pablo Suarez. Matt clearly turned out to be a shapeshifter, so obviously they need to recast. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if he's a shapeshifter and he's just changing shapes all the time, then yeah, you, I don't know. And maybe he got stuck as, as another person, place, or thing. I don't, I don't know how shapeshifters work. Um, but yeah, if he's not himself, then he can't be Matt? Right. This next one is from Lucas. The taint on Satan is going to make me go mad and die. Don't listen to Big Ice to Die, Rand. I've got this dewarming medicine that will clear that right up. <laughs> I didn't know where they were going with that at first, but now I get it. I get it. Next up, we have S. It's a Jason Derulo moment from Cats, only Amazon didn't give the budget to edit it out every scene. If you know, you know. I don't know. I don't know what the Jason Derulo thing in Cats was. Um, I'm almost afraid to look it up. I'm just not going to. I'm just gonna. If that's the case and that's what happens, I guess it'll it, maybe it'll stay a mystery. I don't, I don't know. All right. Also from S, someone put a Barney costume in his trailer. Hmm. 
Okay, another one from S. Everyone was in love with him, and they were fighting over him, and they couldn't get things done. They used COVID, they used COVID as an excuse for why they needed to take breaks in production, but it was really the, oh no, Barney's hot everywhere. It could be that everybody was just in love with him. That's that's fair. He was he was a beloved cast member for sure. At least with with the fans. Salusia voice. I assume, and I hope I'm wrong, that there was a personal problem between cast members. Why was he almost never in pictures? Maybe he flirted too much. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Maybe he was too big of a flirt. Okay. I mean, I feel like that. For somebody playing Matt? I don't know, I just feel like that kind of works. I, I don't know, but that's just me. From Black Tower News. I hope I'm wrong, but maybe the pressure was too high. All this can be too much for a person in, in his or her 20s. Yeah, that's that's fair. He thought it was a ta Varen push, not pull. That'll get you every time. Paul Chester. He released a badger. God damn it. <laughs> Ugh. That man's always releasing badgers. I have another one from my good friend, the Maza booktuber. And uh, he actually wrote it to me in a DM. He said, I heard the guy knew Wheel of Time was gonna flop, so he got out of there quick. So, here's the thing. Um, guys, guys, I need you in the comments right now to comment, uh, not cool, Maza, not cool. Because, uh, just, just let him know in the comment. I want him to click on this video and realize how not cool that that suggestion was and uh we don't like that so uh go ahead feel free to cancel the maza booktuber uh my good friend yeah let's move on i've also enlisted the help of many wetlander humor errs first up from dave macaroni he was a method actor and the directors got mad at him for winning all their money and sleeping with their girlfriends god damn it <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, yeah, it's the thing about being a really good actor. Um, you win all the director's money and then they get mad at you, you know? And then uh, you can't make it better by sleeping with their girlfriends. So yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Next up from the nerd chaplain, couldn't stop saying all his lines in the old tongue. That'd get real confusing real fast. No, sure, yeah. Refused to open a letter from management. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if they're trying to communicate with you and you just uh, don't want to, that'll that'll cause some problems for for sure. Yeah, but to be fair, who likes opening mail anyways? You know, I just prefer to not and ignore it. And uh, you know, that that's been working out, I guess. Kept saying, "I'm no bloody actor. Actors get fired." What? <laughs> I'm no bloody actor. Actors get fired. <laughs> okay. If he is a method actor, he might still be around the set just being Matt. Who knows? <laughs> See, it wasn't good enough with the girls and the other boys wouldn't help him. Talked to Andy Circus and got told he'd be typecast if he didn't get out before the jewelry took him. Amazon originally wanted Barney as played by Neil Patrick Harris, and when the trailer hit, they realized they had been misunderstood. Ah, they needed Neil Patrick Harris, that as Matt, that. <laughs> I think he's probably a little too old, but if they could de-age him, <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris would make an amazing Matt. They, they must have been real shocked at the trailer that they made. He refused to give up the dagger and has been recast as Pat and Fane. Uh, yeah, uh, he definitely has a thing for jewelry. Red ahead, found the Thailand scenes, decided to quit before he got tied up to a bedpost and threatened with a knife. I mean, so does that mean that the new actor he read that part and was stoked, and and maybe uh, maybe everybody wins this way, and it'll just be better for everybody, including the audience. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. He asked for a bit of lace on his clothes, and the wardrobe department wouldn't honor his request. How dare they? How dare they not honor the honorable Matt and his request? Set a badger loose in Jeff Bezos' spaceship. You can't do that. Everybody knows you can't let badgers loose in Jeff Bezos' personal spaceship. Uh, it, it's not its not something you should do. It's not something that's encouraged. It's a little weird. It makes Bezos very uncomfortable from what I hear. He's probably been shipped off to the moon because uh, that's what happens when you release a badger on a spaceship. 
He accidentally got married and his wife decided to give him a new name. What? <laughs> Said blood and bloody fucking ashes one too many times. Or or maybe, maybe he didn't save enough, you know? Because blood and bloody fucking ashes, I, I don't know. I feel like uh, that, that's a good saying and he should say it. So if that's, if that's what cost him his job, wardrobe learned he doesn't look good dressed in pink. Well, that's that's just messed up. And and this new actor, uh, maybe he looks great in pink, but you know what? Barney Harris probably looked good in pink. And uh, maybe the wardrobe doesn't know what they're talking about. I don't know. I don't know. I uh, couldn't take on the responsibility of being close to Joshua Stradowski when he started talking to himself and decided to run off to a different show, probably from Netflix, with Badgers. That, uh, with Badgers part is key. Got cut by the Shatter Logoth blade and turned to ashes. I can't say that name at all. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, it's quite a tragedy if he's a pile of ashes now. <sighs> He'll be missed. They were jealous of his lace. Happens to the best of us. They were filming the scene where Matt gets hanged and they actually hanged him. Wow, Reddit. Wow. He wished to get away from all those bloody Aes Sedai. And Taverin ensued. See my meme, Matt. Bloody and bloody ashes, get me away from these Aes Sedai and nobles. Amazon, your wish is my command. Matt, huh? Ah, okay. Now I get it. Okay. See your meme. Good meme. This is a nice, nice quality meme. Accused the entire bloody cast and crew of being a bad example to the young kids on set. Then patted Rosemond Pike on the bottom and spent the rest of the night drinking and gambling. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, that would get you fired. For sure. He pranked Zoe Robbins, naive, a few too many times, and got his ears boxed, but she had practiced it a bit too much and he lost his hearing. Like that time where he stood next to a cannon without wax in his ears. Poor Barney. Braid Tugger. <laughs> Braid Tugger bot. There's no need for her to go to Tarvala. Get mixed up with your injuries. I've also asked the good people on Instagram what they thought could have happened. Mostly people just liked the, uh, the post, but one comment, and that's from Ben the Overlord. The previous actor was sadly devoured by rabid badgers. Tragic. And finally, over on my Discord, where I need to be much more active, I have one whole comment, and that's from CK. She said, he was one of the few cast correctly, and didn't think it was fair of him to be perfect for the role. As you may be able to tell, I'm not very happy, lol. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> Maybe he thought he was too perfect for it. There's. That's definitely one of the many things. I think we've got like 40. We've got a good 40 reasons probably. And I think they all add up to uh, solving this riddle. I think we all completely 100% know exactly why that role was recast. Probably. <laughs> well, <laughs> this was the first episode of Fans Explain, where fans explain the mysteries of uh, of things in general. Now, if you want to participate in the next episode of Fans Explain, let's explain why George R. R. Martin hasn't finished The Winds of Winter and hasn't released it. So let me know down in the comments below the very probably untrue reason that you believe uh, George R. R. Martin has not finished The Winds of Winter. Now, I'm a fan of George R. R. Martin, so let's, I'm not, I don't want to bash him. This is in defense of why he hasn't. A good reason. There's, there's good reasons out there. He's he's a great writer, and uh, you know, in his defense, let's throw down some reasons. Also, uh, if you like World of Time, okay. also if you like Wheel of Time memes, uh, check these out. Until next time, later.